It's 44 past seven. Wow. Back from Oberon, Kilbaggan Cottage. What a fun time that was. I hope you enjoyed those daily vlogs of madness with the kids. Whenever there's a family holiday like that and there's booze for the adults and there's open playtime for the kids, it just gets out of control, doesn't it? It's a lot of fun, a lot of fun. We had a great time. I mean, I am exhausted now coming back. We just got back this afternoon. Um, I think you're supposed to be more refreshed after a holiday. I'm totally zonked right now, but that's okay. That's what I knew would happen. I'm going to get straight. <clears throat> I'm going to get straight back into it. Going live tomorrow morning. Of course, by the time you see this, this will have already happened. I'm going live on YouTube tomorrow morning. I'll wave a day out there to make up. Well, to continue the Wave a Day project, but also to make up, I'll make it up at the end of the month. Um, I'm not going to make up the July stuff because the whole, the whole idea for July was every day in July. And if you can't make a few days, then that's okay. But I'll be on DLive again this afternoon, or tomorrow afternoon, sorry. And now I have to, before tomorrow's surf, I have to work out how to use this, the wetsuit repair kit. Um, I'm kind of thinking this should be pretty straightforward. This is from Ocean and Earth. They're the makers of the world's strongest leash. The one that I broke. That's another story. Uh, but this one includes 30 mil tube of neoprene, rep neoprene repair cement. It includes a cement application brush. One iron on neoprene patch, 150 by 120 mil. Uh, heat shielding paper and instruction sheet. So I'm going to actually have to sit down with this and make sure I get it right because we are now dead middle of winter, like dead middle of the middle month of July. Uh, the middle, we are the middle of July, which is the dead center of winter in Australia. And theoretically, if you look at the way the moon and the planets and all that crap lines up, that should put that sp the the planet should be the furthest away from the sun right about now. So. The water should be the coldest is what I'm trying to stumble out here. Man, I am tired. I am really tired. But, um, and I need a wetsuit. And my wetsuit right now has a hole right in its leg, right here. Yeah, that's got to be fixed tonight. And I'll get onto that. Um, did we... Um, I talked about the bottles, didn't I? The bottles we found here. I brought these back, right? This was from an abandoned... When I say abandoned, I'm going to say derelict, like a, 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 I should show you a photo, a house that's kind of pretty much just a chimney, a chimney, well actually you'll see the, now that wasn't the chimney one, there's a question for you urbexes, why when you see old houses or places where old houses were, why is often the, just the chimney in existence, like there's a concrete slab or remnants of a concrete slab all overgrown and rabbit poo and all that crap everywhere, but then there'll be a chimney stack sitting there in full, you know, f full health, not full health, but that's where this guy was. This is a, and by the way, I can't get that liquid out. Um, I don't know how to get it out of there. It's just, if anyone knows how to, how these things work, this is a Schweppes soda water bottle, and I'm gonna sell that on eBay along with this guy. This bottle here, is from Odell's Lemonade, which we looked at was a company from 1930 to 1960 out in Dubbo. And this bottle was sticking out of the ground on an angel and we got it, cleaned it up. Again, 